Good morning, everybody. All right. So today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that uh, has has really impacted me over the past couple of years, especially when it comes to running. And that is, um, hang on, we're going to stretch. And that is um, tuning into what your expectations are of other people now that you are a runner. Okay. I'm talking to the person who um, is is new to running and or maybe getting running again and um, noticing those around them and this isn't for this doesn't happen to everybody but I know it happens to me and it's just a, a, a bit of a self reminder please don't expect other people around you to feel the same way that you do about running. Please don't expect people around you to all of a sudden want to partake in running. Um, And do not fall into the trap of just because somebody else doesn't run and you do somehow makes them less. I know that probably sounded a little harsh and I apologize if it did. Um, But it's something that I've had to remind myself of. People have things going on, um, and um, this this can apply to a lot of different things. Is um, in in like a running specific line that makes a lot of sense for this is run the mile that you're in, and you know this this can play true to um, you know even within the running community, and we can talk about more about that later. But but I'm talking about when you are now around your non-running family and friends, you might be consuming a lot of running content, a lot of running videos. You know, you might be discovering uh, things like Strava and, and, and things like that and noticing segments in your in your neighborhood and, and other people. And, you know, you, you now have arrived on this train of motivation and momentum and, you know, gratitude for running and how great it is and everything. Um, Put your energy, put your running energy into that, into those people. Do, try not to take this out on your family. Try not to take this out on your coworkers, your friends. Um, if you do have people in your life that want to run uh, with you, that is amazing. Um, if you have people that are in your life um, that run but have not, I, I suppose, extended the invitation to be run with um, together, Don't take it personal. There's a lot of runners out there that um, simply just want to run by themselves. They don't. They don't want to run with a group. They don't want to run with other people. Um, Perhaps it's just not comfortable for them. Um. So on the flip side of that, you know, I'm starting to run again, and I have taken breaks before, and I have been a brand new runner in the past. Um, I have found, and this goes back to a previous video I was talking about. Um. You know, I would encourage you to at least look at Strava. That is an app that, you know, you can download off the app store. Um, You know, you can come up with an anonymous name to change your privacy settings. But I would look at, you know, just different people on there um, and see what they're up to. But at the same time, don't fall into the comparison trap, which we can talk later Um, because that can, that can rob, that can quickly rob your joy of running. So you're not alone. There are a lot of runners out there. There's a lot of like-minded people out there. You know, for me, just calling it what it is, I am the kind of person that I'm not interested in really pace or, or speed or, or anything like that. I just like being able to get out there and run. And I like to share it here on YouTube. Um, and I'd like to share it here on TikTok um, because I feel like that there is a community out there, population that is just starting running for the first time and wanting some encouragement. Uh, I've been doing it for a few years now and, and I'm here for you. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one.